Alright, before the video starts, if this is your first time visiting this channel, make sure to subscribe. Something good will happen to you guys in return for liking the video and subscribing and turning on notifications. So enjoy the video. Alright, hey guys, I'm back in Voxel Blade. It's been a bit since I've joined this game and played it, but we're in it and I'm here to clear up a lot of questions. So like questions like how do you leave this guild or how do you leave a guild or how do you get back a piece of armor from a certain guild because you actually deleted it or maybe you put a crafting item on it and then deleted it and tried to get it back or maybe you're just trying to get a crafting item effect off of one of your pieces of armor well in this video i will tell you guys how to do all of that and clear that all up because i look at my comments i do i truly do and there's a lot of them. All right, so we're going to start talking about how to leave in a guild. So there are certain guilds that are leavable and they are permanent that you are not able to leave it. Gladiator is a leavable guild. I'm going to go down the list. All right. So Gladiator, leavable clan or leavable guild. Monk leavable guild but you'll keep permanent you'll keep the fist for uh, forever permanently cleric it is leavable night guild it is leavable vampire it is permanent draco it is permanent hex guild it is leavable flux mage guild is leavable and then Oni or Demon Brawler is leavable, but again, you're going to have fists forever. So those are the whole list of the leavable and unleavable, okay? So meaning that if you are in a permanent guild and you want to switch guilds, only way is to wipe yourself and restart, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, there's no method of leaving a permanent guilds just yet. I don't know if they will ever be added. So yeah, but now I'm gonna explain kind of how people are able to join two guilds. It's not really joining two guilds, but it's something like that. So some people in my comments are saying how they're able to go like gladiator then to vampire, and we have like be like two of the guilds. I mean, technically, kind of. So, when you're a gladiator first, like me, uh, you get the armor. You it's a it's a guild that gives you armor. It gives you the tier one armor, and then if when you upgrade it, you'll get the tier two armor. If you were to go vampire, if I were to go vampire right now, okay, since I can, I have enough rep, I could go vampire. I would keep this armor. I would keep the tier two armor, and be a vampire. I wouldn't have the gladiator skill, this skill. I wouldn't have this skill anymore. I would have the vampire uh, skill because I'm the vampire guild. And also I would not have I would not have the passive stats. So the stats that are not given by so the stats that are here just a second. These stats I would still have. The armor stats I would still have. All right. But just passive stats. So like uh hex wait. No, it's not updated yet. I don't think it's updated yet. Yeah, it's not updated yet. So like speed, I'm pretty sure speed is a passive effect. Okay, still not updated. Anyways, so you would not have passive effects. All right, you still have armor effects, but not passive effects. And that's really it. So the armor, if you really want the armor, because the armor itself could be really good for some of the classes, and you might not think that the the build the guild ability is not that great so you might switch abilities or su switch guilds it depends which guild you're switching to um it only works the reason why my example works with vampire is because vampire doesn't give you a guild armor some guilds that do are like um let's see flux mage i think flux mage you get the guild armor just like you given to you only you have to buy your armor Hex guild, I believe you were just given it. I, I think that you get armor from yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh Draco. Draco does not give you armor, so it's kind of like how vampire is where you, you are able to switch to it the second time. Your second guild kind of thing. So what I'm trying to get at is that the guilds without armor, which are 
only Vampire and, and Draco, alright? Those are the only two that don't have armor. So meaning that you can't buy armor or you can't you don't receive armor. Those are the ones that you want to go for for your second guild. So basically you want to go to maybe I don't know, Hex guild and then if you're Draco race, you are able to go Draco race right after Hex guild uh cuz you get the armor effects and then you get to have that passive effect with the Draco guild cuz Draco guild has a lot of passive effects. It doesn't give you armor. It just makes you like a beast uh, if you're a Draco. And then also a vampire doesn't give you armor, but it makes you a beast. And imagine if you have like a like gladiator armor. It's, it's going to be crazy. So that's with that. All right. The two kind of guild stuff. Um, but then again, remember, guys, if you were to go a leavable, cla- a leavable guild and then you're a- and then you go vampire or uh draco you won't be able to go to any other guild you're going to be staying that guild permanently all right just remember that and then now we're going to talk about how to get missing armor back more specifically this occurs with gladiator armor so i'm just going to talk about it with gladiator armor uh this also goes for armor that is given it is given, like given on, lear- given on learning the guild or being in the guild. I'm only talking about those guilds, which are a lot of guilds. So I'm just gonna talk with Gladiator. All right. So with Gladiator, when you talk, when you learn, or when you get into the guild, you get the armor tier one, and then you are able to upgrade to tier two. So basically, my tier one is gone because it is just transformed into a tier two armor. All right uh and people some of the people have put crafting items on the top of the gladiator helmet because that is the hel- the helmet you need to put on a eye of on it so that you can turn into tier two but some people have put some different other ones on it so they've like deleted it or they're trying to take it off some people have deleted it and the way to get it back is you have to leave another you have to leave that guild and then you have to join another guild that has given guild armor such as flux mage knight uh flux mage knight um hex i think i'm not too sure about hex but at least flux like flux is probably the easiest one to go to get that armor so if you are missing a helmet for Gladiator, go to Flux Mage. Flux Mage will completely wipe out your Gladiator armor. And it will give you a whole set of Flux Mage armor. Then once you're Flux Mage, go straight back to Gladiator. Get the requirements. Go straight back to Gladiator. And then you'll get the full set back. Completely cleared out and all that good jazz. And then you could put the eyeball on it and you're all set. All right. How about some of you guys, you know, maybe you guys have the effect. All right. Maybe you have the effect on the helmet, but you haven't deleted it, but you're trying to remove it. You could do that if you wanted to. You really could do that if you wanted to. Uh, that By the way, this method was on the Trello. This uh, when you delete your stuff or if you want to, if you accidentally put a crafting item on it, it, it was on the Trello. Uh, I was just getting that from the Trello. So if you guys want to check the Trello out, it's in the description. And then now the game owner has actually recognized this problem and has given a solution to it, which is he added the toolbox a while back, not too long ago, but a while back, toolbox to um, get rid of crafting items on armor. I'm just reading from the Trello. I've actually never bought a tool quick tool kit or seen one so it says it is bought from aster town and tundra and for three thousand oh that's a lot of money whoa what oh my gosh wow three thousand three thousand cash three thousand box of money three thousand what is the currency even called let me see real quick it is uh, vox voxos voxos what the heck? 
How the heck do you say that? Voxus. All right, Voxus. Anyways, cash. We'll just say cash. I don't want to say that. They are bought from Astertown and Tundra Inn. So if we go to the part of the Trello where it tells us locations, Astertown is... Oh, whoa. Where is that place? Astertown is at the Flora Fields. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so Astertown is over there, I believe. Somewhere... Flora Fields. Wait, am I tripping? This is Flora Fields. Right now I'm in Flora Fields. Yep, yep, I'm in Flora Fields. And then Astertown is over here. Yeah, somewhere back there. It's all the way back there. Like directly where I'm facing. That's somewhere over there. You just want to like keep following the path, apparently. I've actually never been to this place. I'm gonna just walk over there while I'm talking. Just to see if we can find it. And then Tundra Inn. Uh that is located up in the mountains um and oh wait it says look at tundra in the tundra in is where i made my video on how to farm wolves but the thing is i've never seen any any oh maybe it is up in there i'm not even too sure it might be up there it might be so tundra in it is actually at like the beginning of the mountains and where i made a video on how to level up fast and in that video it requires the tundra in going to there and healing if you're not an orc um yeah so that's where that is and there's some other like questions that are really not that helpful for everybody but just some questions like what class are you or what sword i have or how do you get to that sword so i'm a katana gladiator I'm an orc, and the way to get to Katana, it is sharp, sharp, and then speed. That is how you get to Katana, and then I'm a gladiator tier 2. If you guys don't know how to get tier 2, I've made a video on it a while, while back. You guys should check it out, because you guys keep hearing me say tier 2, and it's like, what is, what is tier 2 if you don't know what it is? But um, Aster Town, I'm not even too sure what this place is. Yeah, I'm not even too sure. Oh, is that it? Oh, that is. All right. So it's in the back, back, back um corner of the map right here. Let's see if we get. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, we can't even get one. I'm broke. I'm broke. I can't buy one. Yeah, dang. That's tough. Um, yeah. So that's really all the questions. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm like missing. Those are the really big questions like i don't know no, nothing really else all right Aster Town. whoa dinosaurs next update question mark next update Ah, uh, there we are the two box crafting item uh removes blah, blah blah see removes crafting items from gear it's really nice i can't buy one though yeah broke let's check out this over here i've actually never been here this looks like a dope place. Well, it soon will be a dope place. Wink. I actually have no idea. Oh, oh, Sar, Sar, Sar. Oh, I've seen this one. Sar gear. Hmm. Cool. Oh, this is dinosaur. Oh, it's like dinosaur armor. That's why it makes sense. I'm telling you guys, maybe this thing will open up or something. Maybe you have to open this up, and it's gonna unlock a new place. I'm not too sure, guys, but that's my hypothesis <laughs> anyways if you guys did find this video helpful at all drop a like leave a comment saying this was helpful or something i appreciate your guys's comments and likes and just your subscription if you guys are subscribed i'll see you guys in another video peace